let's um, tie up a couple of inyanim here. Huge yesoidus and huge kedushim that we have here. Um, Karachov, Nafeshatayim, so we learned that Nafeshatayim's version of tshuva. And the first thing he said, I just want to go over it, is that the Iker of Tshuva, Az HaYedei Vidui Dvarim Be'emes Miyum Kedalima, that when a person says Vidui, meaning it's not so much about the Harot Ala Avar, Kabbalah Ala Asad, of course, that's the ingredients of Tshuva, well, Kishi Yasa Tshuva, when you're doing Tshuva, Tzarek Lis Vatois, and the Iker of Tshuva, the Raman says in the Horsh, is Vidui, Tosi Avisi Pashati, and we explained that the Pshat Vidui, why Vidui is that, why is that the most important, it's not the most unimportant part of Shuvah, the most important part of Shuvah is the change that we go through, the transformation that we go through, the transformation of Shuvah. The Rambam and the Shachayim is explaining as the Iker of Shuvah is the Vidui. And the reason the Iker of Shuvah is Vidui is that He's saying something different than Rabbi Yonah says in Shari Tshuva. Rabbi Yonah in Shari Tshuva learns that the Iker of Tshuva is that we change. The whole book is about change. It's a beautiful book, and I don't want to lower it by saying it's a self-improvement book, but it's Shari Tshuva. It's a beautiful um, program of change. Uh, Vitui is not about the change. The change is to make ourselves into a keli, which is roi for Tshuva. What does it mean? Um, means that as we keep on explaining that we have here, we're living with our nefesh. Uh, a person's nefesh includes everything, Adam hu nefesh, everything from my physicality all the way to my psychology, to my emotions, to my personality. That's all goes into Torah's ha nefesh. Um, but the nefesh onto itself could be um, nefesh ha The nefesh connects to a higher place which is called the Ruach. Balatanya calls that place of connection the Nefesh Alekis. And from there, from the Ruach, it goes back, it goes up to the Nisham. So the real Tshuva is like the Zayar says in the Tikkunim, Tashuv He, Tshuva, Tashuv He. You're putting everything back in realignment, the He. We'll explain actually in the Hagal why He, why He is Tshuva. But Tashuv He, you're taking the Nefesh and you're, you're, you're realigning it with the Ruach. That place of connection, the place of transfer, the place of not transformation, the toggle between nefesh and ruach is ayyadeh dibur. Dibur is that which is on the cusp of ruach and nefesh. Ruach, malala, that which allows us to speak, is what differentiates us from all the other animals in the world. And higher than that is machshava, but the dibur is chelik mina nefesh v'chelik mina ruach. So when I say vidui, what I'm doing is I'm taking Kishiyasa Tshuva. I made all the changes that I need to make. And now I say Vidui, now that I've, I've created this, this wonderful, wonderful nefesh, this wonderful, wonderful machine, this Kaili, I'm now hooking it up to the power. And I'm hooking it up to Ruach. Ayyade, Vidui. Because Vidui is the deep word which connects the nefesh to the Ruach. Very, very important you say. Where Rabbi Yoyna is, is learning that the Iker of Tshuva is sort of going in a downward position, Musabar is always taking us into a better nefesh. Um, the the, the Lajan is pointing out that I don't know if they're arguing or, or what, but there's a, there's another aspect of Shuva of taking this nefesh and it's not a runaway train. It's, a, it's, it's, it's going against all of the cutoffs that take place every time we do a chet. See, kares is almost a complete cutoff. But every chet is a little bit of kares. Every chet disconnects us a little bit from the ruach. So now, what happens is, through shuva, my nefesh is reconnecting to my ruach, specifically through vidui, because vidui is through dibur. That's what, that's what, so what dibur does, see, it's, a, it's such an important thing, because um, tefillah, according to Jewish tradition, has to be the dibur. Divrei Torah, According to, let's say, the Balatanya, 
the Rav Shulchan Aruch Hilchas Talmud Torah. It's not good enough just to be Maharir or Bidivrei Torah. You have to be Medaber Bidivrei Torah. Lashon of the Nusach Haris, Asher Kitzanu B'Mitzvahs of Tzivanu, Al Divrei Torah. Not last week, the Divrei Torah, but Al Divrei Torah. Dvar, by Yidav Eresh and Lomosh and Leimor. The reason for all this is, the reason why Dibur is so important is because Dibur connects the Nefesh to the Ruh. Why does he say Akim Asfasa, seemingly leaving out the Ruh? The Ruh of it. Because he's talking about the lower level of Dibur, which is part of the Dibur, which is part of the Nefesh. So the, so, so the, the Maisa of Dibur has to do with Akim Asfasa. The Ruach is what keeps it Koach, right? So, the, the, it's a, so look at, look at Dibur. There's a new way of looking at Dibur. Dibur, Dibur. Dibur is a connection between Nefesh and Ruach. That's where it connects, in the Dibur. Or that's where it disconnects, by the way, because if a person abuses their Koach Dibur, Boom, like, you know, like your, your nefesh and your That's like Dibur is so important. You have to understand, like, when you talk Lashon Hara, Kulam um, Nechsholam Ba'avak Lashon Hara. When you talk Lashon Hara, you're, you're using, what's going on here is, is you're using the, 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 the Ruach of Hashem, and you're using it for Dibur, which, or you're taking the nefesh and using the Dibur, which should be connecting, and you're disconnecting with that very same Ruach. It's the Chaim Rachet. So Chaimarachet, and that we know gives unbelievable kohos to the uh, klipa. Uh, the, the, the bad thing, Lashar is a bad thing. So, so uh, let, me, let me just give you a minute. Um, Bamis, like explains a little bit the, the our parsha, the parsha's kisavai, because when you bring bikurim, um, you stand in front of the kohen and you say. Um, Arami Oyvid Avi, Oyer Mitzrayma. And that's called Vidui Bikurim. It's called in Chazal Vidui Bikurim. Not really saying Vidui. But what you're doing with the Bikurim, there's also Vidui Meiser. What you're doing with the Vidui is, is you know, being, saying over what our Chatoyim are, is just one way of connecting the Nefesh to the Ruach. But another way of connecting the Nefesh to the maybe even a more profound way, is by coming into Eretz Yisrael and planting a field. And the very first thing that grows out of that field, I'm, I'm bringing it to the current, I'm giving it to our show. Coming to Eretz Yisrael, being in Eretz Yisrael, is, is the ultimate Hishamshus Hatoiv Shal HaNefesh. You can't, this is the goal of everything. Am um, Kadosh comes to Eretz Yisrael. Unbelievable, it's plus. So, but but it's it's all it's doing. All Eretz Yisrael is the nefesh ham, nefesh Yehudi. Right? It's the nefesh. Now, how do you take that nefesh and connect it to a much higher place of ruach? The answer is bring the bikurim and say vidui. Bring the meiser and say vidui. Connected, ayidei dibur. It's the dibur which is connecting the land. The Gashmi is the earth, the plows, the furrows, the seeds, connecting them to a higher place of, uh, of Ruach. That's done ayudei vidui. There has to be a deeper element in this. You wake up in the morning, and the first thing you do is you say, Modani l'fadacha, nice, I first, I tell you, thank you. But it's, a, it's a deeper thing than that. It's vidui, mote. Ani modelacha, vidui, mote, same word. The, the idea of waking up in the morning, my first Call to action is connect my nefesh, modani lefanacha, shachazarta binishmasi bechemla rava emunasecha. That I'm taking and I'm connecting back to my neshama. My neshama um, is is here. My nefesh is here. It's sleeping. I open up my eyes and I say b'dibur dafka can't be baharer even before I wash nagelvaser. I say modani lefanacha vidui. Vidui. So, the, so, so it's a vidui that you say in the morning. It's also called vidui. Um, so, so it's not just uh, hakar satoy. Of course, it's hakar uh, satoy. It's, it's not just a kar it's, it's the, it's, it's a connection. It's using my nefesh and my ruach together. Now, I'm sorry, what did you want to say? I want to say something. I want to say something. I wanted to ask you that, like, when Eli Sohana, Sohana, when your lips, is there a breath also? Is it ma'akev? 
There's no, if you're just moving your lips, there's no breath. The the Yeshuva. It says before in the pasuk, "Koylo leishama yisah kimas vasayim without call." Maybe kolisha. Maybe she didn't want him. Maybe she heard her own voice. But she heard her own voice. So it's a very complicated um, halacha, if you will, because on the one hand, I'm talking in short esrei. So if you do a kimas vasa, the leishama lo az na vleyotz. Can't just be mahar. It's a shady desire. Says. If anybody else hears your Shemona Esrei, <coughs> see people down in Shemona Esrei a little bit too loud, you know? If somebody else uh, um, hears your Shemona Esrei, Hashem doesn't hear it. Then it broke oh, so what's the, what's, the, what's the shot? Like, what are we so back to So it could be a lure that it's disturbing other people. But uh, no, even if you're in a room where everybody's, uh, you know, playing playing uh, poker, they, they can't hear your Shemona Esrei, Hashem doesn't hear it, because it's a very private thing of my deep work connecting to my Ruach. Whereas if it's heard out, then there's a leak in, in, in the Ruach, and everybody else is hearing it, so it's, it's taking away. It's supposed all power goes to connecting the Nefesh to the Ruach. And that's, that's so much, so much, so much of, uh, of Chumash, and so much of Yiddishkeit, and so much of, of, of Halacha is all based on, on the Indian of Dibur, and hear her love to Dibur, don't you? There, there's there's a machlekes we learned whether Akima Swasayim has a din of dibur or it doesn't have a din of dibur. It's a, a machlekes in the heart. Let's see. We learned from Rabbi Yechon and Rish Lakish. Does Akima Swasayim have a din of dibur or it doesn't have a din of dibur? So there you have a case. So the reason why they're arguing is because it's right on the gvul. It's gvuli. It's right on the gvul of nefesh and ruach. Is he taking a position here that it's it's not dibur? Idea Akima Swas. I can only guess that that um, the reason why this was had to be done before is what he was actually doing. What, why was this his job? To make the, they could have been born just with a T-shirt on, you know. Oh, yeah, I am giraffe. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the reason is because what other Mershon was doing is he was connecting the whole world to Hakadosh Baruch and that has to be Ayde Dibur and Ayde Diburai Dafka Shel 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 Adam. Very good. Just going to say just along that same lines. Could it not be? In the sense that the way that the real world came about was the Kodesh Baruch who created the world, the people. And uh, essentially, when it comes down to doing a virus, so we're destroying the world. And yeah. So the back, back up a little bit. The, 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 in other words, we spoke about this about Sarah Mamaris Nibra, Kodesh Baruch who used Deepur. And then he blew into our nostrils, and we had Deepur. It's the Deepur of Hashem. Our, our Deepur is deeper than we. Our dibur is the dibur of Hashem. You know, there's there's a reason why we're creative at Salam Aleichem because we are the ambassadors here in this world. So we need to we need to have that koach and we need to talk because if we don't talk, then we can't finish Hashem's work. And naming the animals, of course, was a small part of it, but all of the tikkun olam is all happening through dibur. Jews are good with dibur. Um, they don't always use it for good, but they're good with it. Um, and and the shot is this is a gift. It's a it's a gift of it's a gift of Dibur, which which is there to be Masak and debris. Now um, that's point one. Point two is if we look over here, I just want to be Madaifu and Lashon a little bit. What happens? Ma'ayr be called Dvarim Shalayt. It's your business. It's not just Akim Aswas. Bechinas Nefesh to Ruach. Akim Aswas of is out the chinas nefesh yerach ma'ar bekol dvarim shalai. That's a a e at ad la eila u la eila. Somebody pointed out it was you that, that that's the pshat in the kaddish la eila la eila min kol berchasa b'shiras. Iskada vi iskada shmei rama the alma divrati ruse. Think of the words v'yam lich malchuse. And all of this goes la eila u la eila min kol berchasa b'shiras. This goes up 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 up. So again, remember, remember this picture in your mind. Memorize this picture in your mind that that the tshuva is going up. Leila, leila. How far up? So we know about the nefesh attaches to the ruach through dibur, 
the Ruach attaches to the Neshama. Leila, Leila. But look, the Goyrim she is atzel toisefes kedusha mimenu yisbarach shmai. What's happening here is that now there's a new energy of, of, of life, of kedusha, which is coming down the pipe. Once I realign, I'm not just realigning and getting what's there. What's there might have gotten blown away. <laughs> what I'm getting is a whole new roof. It's a gift from Hashem. It's a pillow. A gift from Hashem that, okay, this guy did shuva. This guy realigned. I'm going to give a whole new kalach from Shemai. This is a whole new kach. Who has this kach? It's like it's like a whole new, you know, a, a cotton shenoyla. You know, every, we always talk about a cotton shenoyla. This morning we talked about it in the bar halacha that on erev rosh hashanah, erev yom kippur, you're supposed to toivel. When you do, the pshat is because, um, like this, like the shulchan aruch says in your day, that if a person chas v'shalom does a big avera. You know, let's say some Jew goes and becomes a, 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 a Tibetan Buddhist, maybe it's a Buddhist, and he becomes Baal Shuba. That's that. To toil. You know, once you, once you, once you have any Kesher with, with a Buddhist, you have to toil. Besides for everything else, you have to toil. So, I mean, there's, there, there's a Ruach, Nachain, Chadesh, Petirbi, that's Tvila has to do with that also, with the whole new Ruach. But that's the shot that when I, when I line up, when I align, realign, I'm getting something more than what I had even before I did the chet. Remember I spoke about how the hay open on the bottom and you can get back in through the top? And, and, and the Gemara asks, just go back in. What do you have to go around the top? It's new. It's a new thing. This is a new angle because I'm getting something new. And and, and the new the, and that's why about Shuvah has whole new kachis. Uh, what I was thinking, what I started saying, is I was thinking about... Uh, uh, a garish kikat and shenayla, a bal tshuva is like a kikat and shenayla, you know, uh, a yoy is kikat and shenayla. Well, I start thinking, you know, you get a little older, you start thinking, what does it mean like a kikat and shenayla? A kikat has endless energy. <laughs> you know, I watch, I watch like the little grandchildren running around, and where did they have the kikat? <laughs> it's, 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 it's like a new car, you know? <laughs> the body's working, everything's going good. Their heart bar Hashem is good, their brain is good, everything is good, maybe not fully developed, but good, and they got they can go and go and go and go, go to sleep. You know, I don't want to go to sleep. I only want to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's, what's the pshat? The pshat is that Kikot and Shnele, all kind, this is a Baal Shuba. Anybody, anybody who does it becomes a Baal Shuba. Like, he doesn't want to go to sleep. He just wants to keep on going and going and running and running and running and do. And, you know, it becomes all of a sudden the job of the, uh, I think, the wrong job. Of, of the person who's makar of the Baal Shuvah to say, slow down, take it easy, <laughs> let them go. <laughs> let them run around, kids are kids. <laughs> let them play, you know, it's, it's gewaldic, like to use that, that uh, tremendous uh, koach. But where does it go? Begorim shitzatzel toisefes kedusha, toisefes kedusha mimeno, yisbarach shmai, ad shayrish ha-neshama tchila, listen to the words, very, very important words here. Her uh, Chaim Lajan spent hours on every word. So there's another step here. Don't, don't miss the step. It goes first to the Shayrish Hanashama, and from the Shayrish Hanashama, it goes Ad Shayrish Hanashama Tchila, that's not your Nishama, Umisham Lenishmasai, Veruchai, Venafshai. So there's a, it goes even higher than your neshama. In other words, when you're realigning, you're accessing something and contributing something. It's, it's not just like we've been learning here, nefesh, ruach, neshama. No, here's a fourth step in one word he was machadish does. Nefesh, ruach, neshama, shayrish ha neshama. What is that? It's the kisah chavah. Oh, so it says the gemara in yomam. Amarish lachish. I'm sorry, I'm a mayor. Rabbi Mayor. So interesting that this was a Rabbi Mayor. It was, I don't, I don't know, it was a completely, um, ain't bedarik you're a mayor? He very says, vain halacha kemaisa. There's no, it was a chad bedar, or a mayor. Um, it, was on a chad, it was a chad bedar, it was on a completely different level. But we don't possibly like him. Because Psak is here and he was here. 
uh, Zucker Mayer, so many things, once you understand this about Rameyer, and how he even learned from Acher because he saw something different. He didn't look at his mice and he saw something different. He saw, he saw something different in his Nisham. He was looking differently. I believe his wife taught him this. It's because the Gemara says that that um, there was honey, honey bear unit the Havi Bishwasai the Rabbi Mayor. There was a bunch of gangsters in the Mayor's uh, neighborhood, and her mayor was dominating for them, they should all drop dead. A lot of people like that. I mean <laughs> <laughs> the comments fill it, you know. <laughs> and yeah, well, she, particularly with my neighbors. <laughs> the brewery is we dominating that they should all drop dead, dominating they should do tshuva. Like, why do you have, I mean, agreed, this is not, they're not Pesachar, but dominating they should do tshuva. So Marsha, all the Poiskim, all the, all the Korshim, they all want to know, like, what does it mean, daven, I should daven, you should do tshuva. But a, a person has Bukhira, I should daven, you should do tshuva. Bishla, I daven, I should do tshuva. So that's a part of my tshuva. Marshal's kasha, brachas. But how do I daven? Somebody else should do tshuva. So the answer is, what, what, and, and Romero is Makabalus from Beria's wife, and he, and he daven that they should do tshuva, and they did tshuva. And they, they, um, the Kavonis of the Ariza on the Sashari Gilkul tells us even who they were. Okay, they tell me, tell me, tell me to Romero. But you know their names. They tell me to were a mayor, they're all a bunch of gangsters. So, Arami Oyvid, just, just keep that at the back of your head over here. What, what, what Rameyer learned to do, and it was the same Rameyer that went, okay, now I can learn from Alicia Benavuya also, is what he learned to do is, and, and this is what he says in Yuma Peva, Home of Asian Area. He's the last Amr of Yuma. He says, Gidoy le tshuva, Gil, Shemagah asad kisei akava. What in the world does that mean? It was only one of, of a number of statements that he made. I think seven statements. Gidoy le tshuva, Shemagah asad kisei akava. Gidoy le tshuva, Shemavi refuah lo'olam. Gidoy le tshuva, Shekol ha'olam kulay. Moislam lay al kol. Very nice. That's the real, the real palette. I do tshuva, everyone gets mechil. What, what is, what is, what's the nakuda here? So I, I um, let's, so let's just dwell for a moment on the hard one. We're mayor. Gedoy le tshuva, first simple pshat, shemagas had kisi ha'kavad, kisi ha'kavad is the world of neshamas, but not just the world of neshamas, my prati neshama. We know that there was a neshama, the way it works, and we know this because we're told, there was a neshama kloli that HaKadosh Baruch made, I'm going to make man, Olam of Bria, I'm making man, mankind, Neshama Klali. In Kabbalistic literature, there's a confusion, confusing idea of Adam Akadme, not Adam Arisham, Adam Akadme. I'm going to make man, that's a Neshama Klali. From here, it'll break up into all kinds of pieces, you and me, our, our wives, our husbands. Like, that's, that's the pieces of the puzzle. But there's one big Neshama Klali. So that's what Rabbi Meir meant. When he says that Gedoy Tshuva Shemagas Ad Kisei Hakavay, because the Kisei Hakavay is Bria, and the Kisei Hakavay under Tachas Ad Kisei Hakavay is all of the Neshamas of Avram Yitzchak and Yaakov, particularly. So everybody comes from that Kisei Hakavay. My Tshuva is not just going. Okay, here's my here's my Nefesh, here's my Ruach, here's my Neshama, here's the Neshama Akloli Tachas Kisei Hakavay. My Tshuva is Magas. Ah, how far up is it going again? Don't forget, Rabbi Yoyna is, is on, a, on a, a linear level. How far up does my tshuva go? Where does it really affect and change things? All the way up by the Kisei HaKav, the Rameir. Rameir saw this. You can daven, listen to this, you can daven, this is what Umar says. Buria told him, you can daven for somebody to do tshuva. Why? Because over here it's all we're individuals and Bechir Chavshis and what is it by davening for you to do tshuva? That doesn't make any sense. But it doesn't really make any sense. So Marsha says it doesn't make any sense to him. Marsha says. But, but, but it does make sense if you understand that the tshuva goes up to the Kisei HaKavoy and I'm getting it from there. We're all getting new energy. Because there's a place where you and I are connected at the hip. Or our neshamas are connected. The goof that we have, the nefesh is what separates us. See what it means when, when, when um, 
two people are not getting along, and there's no achdus in the world, it means that we're too much into the nefesh. Uh, the, the only place to be misache, I would say further, um, from, I'm saying this on a very uh, uh, practical level, the only chance, the only chance that Klai Yisrael has for achdus is up here in the world of Neshama Klai. Uh, too, it's too, too different over here, too much individual, too much ego, so it's hard. If we can tap into a higher place, then you can have achdus with everybody, anybody, because you know what, we're all in the same Neshama. If, if you can get back there, the only chance we have, I think, is 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 to talk about the neshama Pali, which is why, let's say, people like Rav Kokol of Shalom wrote books about this. <laughs> Rav Kokol wrote books about the neshama Pali. This this is the this is the key to the whole thing. So that's one thing Rameyer said. Rameyer Aimer, Gedoy Le Tshuva, Gedoy Le Tshuva. Kamara says, pay vavah and vase. You do a tshuva shit. When you do tshuva, meichlin yachid sha'asa tshuva, meichlin l'chol ha'elam. Yachid sha'asa tshuva, meichlin l'chol ha'elam. Be ken dozai. How could it be? Yachid sha'asa tshuva, meichlin l'chol ha'elam. So look here in the, in the Gemara, in Yuma. So there's a Gillian Ashas, it's Rabbi Kivager. Rabbi Kivager is not often Mofia in the Nefesh Achayim Shir. Rabbi Kivager says, Yachid Sha'as Hachuva, Meichlin Lachol Ha'elam. So he says, Haramami Pano, <laughs> the Ramami Pano says Rabbi Kivager, B'maimer Chikar Din, Chelek Aleph, Paradalet, Kasuf, Pirush, this is what he writes. So we Rabbi Kiva Eger, we know. The Ramah Mipano. The Ramak, the Moshe Perdavar, is the Rebbe of the Arisa. A little bit of, here's a quick history lesson. What do you want? <laughs> the Ramami Pano was a Talmud of Ramosha Kardavar. When, when he died at the age of 48, so the Arizal was Masvid, and the Arizal died five years after him in Sfas. So he was Masvid, and he said on the Ramak, Mayur Varepi. The, the Ramak, Ramosha Kardavaro, and others came from Italy to Aristotle and Sfas. And, um, and a lot of people were left behind. A lot of Gedolim were left behind. An interesting Italian Gedolim. So um, I'm just going to try to imagine it. The Italian Gedolim. <laughs> they were they were um, clean shaven. Um, an Italian. <laughs> they were, <laughs> yeah. Universities. Yeah. Universities. The Ramchal was later, but then the Ramchal was same same type of idea. <laughs> 1540. <coughs> so what happened was it was the Spanish expulsion and um, affected Italy eventually, and most of them came from Italy to Eretz Yisrael. So um, when Rabbi Yosef Caro was one of them, and Rabbi Yosef Caro came to Eretz Yisrael, also moved to Tzvas with the Arizal and the Ramat, and he wrote his the Pirish his. This uh, magnum opus, which was not the Shulchan Aruch, which was the Beis Yosef, Yosef Karo. Beis Yosef, the Beis Yosef on the tour is where the Shulchan Aruch comes from. <clears throat> when he wrote the Beis Yosef, it, it, uh, um, poor people in Sfas, they, they hardly had what to eat. So what's he, how's he going to get this out? So the Beis Yosef contacted um, a friend of his still from Italy by the name of Rebbe Zarya Minha, Minha Dumim. Doctor, um, he was a friend of the Beis Yosef, and Azariu uh, Minhad Dumim. He was called Minhad Dumim because he lived in a Christian um, neighborhood, and he was a, he was a, a doc, doctor in a Talmud Chacham. Um, controversial in history, but he was a he was a Gevir, and the Beis Yosef con contacted Azariu Minhad Dumim from Edom. 
he lives not much near the Vatican. Um, and he said, I, I wrote the Beis Yosef, and I need to print the Beis Yosef. The printing in Italy was still, I'm a bit of a bucky on this subject, uh, um, publishing. The, the printing publishing in Italy was, was still mutter to do. Um, the church eventually uh, uh, answered everything because in Italy and in Venice, because you know there was Tfus Venezia and, and Tfus Bologna, there was a lot of, a lot of Tfus in, in, in Italy. Um, and then um, one person printed the Rambam, and another Jew printed a different Rambam, and it was um, competing with the first Rambam. So the guy with the first Rambam went to the church and told them that, hey, he's printing illegally. And they closed down the whole Tfus of Pali Israel. Council by council. That's what happened. They, they burnt, they burnt all the, all the, they took, they went to Venice, the Jewish ghetto, probably many of you have been there, and they took every safer that they could find, that's where the Jews lived, and then they went to Rome to the ghetto, and they burnt them all um, in, in Venice. You, you can go visit the place where all the, all the swarm were burnt. In Rome, you can, this, this was all because one Jew mastered another Jew. The Chmino you know, the Messira, um, that's to be on my, on my head. But I'll go upon him. Let's just go back to the story just to so get the history. So, um, Rabbi Zarya Minhalutim said that, um, that the, the way to get your base you know, printed, can't print in his city, is to let's contact the Ramah Mipano, who was the former Talmud of the Ramak. And he told the base, Yosef, I'll contact the Ramah Mipano. Fano is a city in Italy, also Fano. And I'll contact him. And he was a, a rich Kabbalist. <laughs> the rich McCubbel, and he'll pay for it. So he was Macabo to pay for the printing of the base here. He says, Ramam Mifano um, edited, did the typesetting. It was a go not door. Um, and, he, and, he, and he printed the base here. So, 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 the Ramam Mifano, besides for his own godless, he printed the base here. And when the Ramak um, was Nifter um, around that same time, because he, he had a connection with Sfas. So he gave um, a huge, huge amount of money to the almana of the Ramak of Ramosha Cordovaro in exchange for all Ramo, for the for the Pardes Ramonim of the Ramak for the manuscripts of the Ramak and he printed he bought them he bought the schusim to it and he printed all he edited them and he printed all of that also so all, so many uh, svarim that we have came from the Ramak and he wanted a way to to support the the almana of the Ramak so it was a tremendous thing so he wrote a safer called Fikr Adin, which obviously Rabbi Kibager was, was a Bucky and the Zaber Fikr Adin, like most people probably didn't even hear the Zaber, right? So uh, Rabbi Kibager, it, it, um, so I, I wanted to look it up, but this is what he says, let me just, he says, first of all, just an interesting thing, Haramami Pano B'maymer Fikr Adin Chelek Alof Perik Dal. So it's not there, I looked and looked and looked at it, but finally um, I found it's just, you see how careful you have to be. My Merchikir, I didn't fail with Aleph Perik Yud Dalit. So they, they uh, made a mistake, and they took the, um, the, the I guess, the Streichel before the, 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 the Yud, before the Dalit, and they figured that the, 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 he just made a hit, or Rikki Vegar just made a line. It was a Yud, it probably wasn't Rikki Vegar's mistake. But you can, you can look and look and look and, and not find it, but you have to have the patience to go further and see. And, and says so Rikki Vegar, you look over there, and you'll understand what Rameyer meant when he says that um, that one person yachin shas and shuva meichlan l'chol ha'olam kulay, chol ha'olam, not even to every Jew meichlan l'chol ha'olam kulay. So says the Rambam. Here's the lesson of the uh, after my over elaborate introduction. Um, he talks here in, in this uh, parak Yudal about b'chlal um, that that when you do shuva. The tshuva goes up to the kisei hakava and affects all the neshamas. Neshama kolli. Ukvar nisayru chazal. Just reading his words. Ukvar nisayru chazal. Chazal already made the point. That's our gemara. By the way, this is this was sent over by our zutra of tuvia in the name of Rab. And 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 the desire it's the name of a mayor. They had different Kabbalists who said this, but it doesn't make any difference for our purposes. Farnesoyeru Chazal, he says it like that. 
In that case, Meichlin Lachol Ha'olam Kulay Pirush. What does it mean? How could it be? Chelkam Bivris Ha'Allah Yosem Arevim Zelazet. Who Hanimchol Beschusay? Nachaynu. Anybody want to make a landing on this with me? Gaval. <laughs> Pirush. What does it mean? Person does tshuva. Pirush, chelkam bevris ha'ala. What's the bris ha'ala? We know about the bris ben Sorry, we know about bris mila. So I tell you what it means. Is that and, and another week we're going to read? Another week or two we're going to read Parshas Nitzavim. And Parshas Nitzavim, it could be you go through every year, and the child don't understand what it's what it means altogether. It's usually connected to Bayelo, so we just want to get out of here, you know. Some Bayelo. Atem Moshe Rabbeinu says like this. He's teaching an unbelievable Yisrael. He says to Klai Yisrael, just before he dies, he says, Atem Nitzavim Hayoim Kulchem. You are all standing here together. Lifnei Hashem Elekechem. Where? I just said the only chance we have for Achtus is up here in the world of Bria. I don't think here it's difficult. Lifnei Hashem Lekechem, who? Roshechem, Shivtechem, Ziknechem, Shaitrechem, Kol Ish Yisrael, Tapchem, Neshechem, Gerach Asher Bekerav Machanecha, Choyte Veitzecha, that Shoy Meimecha. You're all standing together to do what? You're all one. That's what he was teaching. La Avrecha Bevris Hashem Lekecha, Uve Alasai. In the bris, this is what is called the bris Allah. It's a crazy thing. You read this every year. Not, not we're talking about this Moshe Rabbeinu was teaching here some a new Chiddush Lagamri about the understand you're all connected water carriers Rosh Hashivas everybody it's all it's all connected Lifnei Hashem Alekecha La Avracha because you're all together Moshe Rabbeinu was Megala the side of Sodais La Avracha Bevris Hashem Alekecha Uvei La Olasa and in his Allah the Bracha and the Klala that we talked about. In this week's parish of Kisava, Asher Hashem Alekecha Kairishim Cha Hayyim. Man Hakim Ois Cha Hayyim Loi Laam. This is how you become one people. Vehu Yelacha Elokim. Asher Diber Lach. Asher Nishbar Lav Oisecha La Avram Yitzchak Liyakov. This is this is the the Yisoy he was telling in the last things, his last words he said. Says before he was Nifter. This is the Yisoy of everything. That you're all in one bris since the time of Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. I don't even mean you people that are standing here to keep with me, but Gashmias. Because the Neshamas are not totally in, 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 in who happens to be alive right now and who's not. So it's who was and who is and who will be. It's all connected in one Neshama. And he goes on and on and on, and this is this is the the, the beautiful every word, uh, beautiful of Moshe Rabbeinu, the beautiful words of Moshe Rabbeinu, in in Parshas and Sava. From here, it's from these psukim that we learn Arvus, Arevus, Kol Yisrael Arevim said was that. Where where what I'm Arev, I can make a bracha. Mitzvah is you know, it's in the bracha. Why? Because a bracha is in the bechin of Dibur. I can't think for you. A bracha is in the bechin of Dibur. Dibur is connected to the Ruach, which goes up to the Neshama. And the Neshama goes up to the Neshama HaKlali. And since it goes up to the Neshama HaKlali, so now, on that level, I can, I can, I can be one with you. That's where Achtos has to take place. Real Achtos has to take place in the Olam of Neshama. So what, is, what does it mean? Says, says the Ramami Pano. There's, there's no other way to understand the Gemara. The Gemara says that I can do tshuva, not just I can make a bracha be by to you, but I can do tshuva. I'm changing the, the the source of all life. I'm making a dent in the source of all life, which is in the neshama haklali. And of course, nim chol chol it doesn't mean everybody doesn't have to do tshuva, but it means that I change the 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 the, the source. I change the pool. From everything, where, where everything is coming from, 
I've changed the whole energy of the world. One person doing shiva. 